Well, hello there. Welcome back to my den of seduction, which is definitely a den and not my dining room. So I'm back for yet another drunk fan fiction, only this time it's the Valentine's edition. That means that I solicited my boyfriend to find me the most sensual, sultry, and scintillating fanfiction out there to read just in time for this beautiful love holiday. If you don't know how this works, I read fanfiction that's preposterous, disgusting, and romantic while drinking copious amounts of alcohol. I suggest that you do the same. So grab your bay or boo thing, grab your alcohol of choice, mine of which is very, uh, classy and very sophisticated, much like me. Which I've already had two of, and I'm the lightest of the lightweights, so this should be interesting. And allow these steamy Valentine fanfiction stories to start your Valentines off right. So I'm going to go sip and or chug a few more of these, and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. I'm equipped with the various fanfictions that my boyfriend sent me today. He did not enjoy it, he did not want to do this, and while he read them he was very scared and made note of that to me. This first one that Jacob found is a uh, Kung Fu Panda one by <laughs> Lionstar34. 34, 34, conveniently my uh, lucky number. This is long as fuck. Okay. Uh, so it's between Tigress and Poe, which I guess makes more sense than the other ones, as opposed to like Shifu and Poe, or that fucking bird and Poe. So this one actually has a fuck ton of exposition, so we're gonna start with a letter, I guess, uh, that Viper wrote to Tigress, assuming that Viper can both read and write despite having no arms or legs, because I guess you need legs to read and write. Dear Tigress, as your honorary sister, I refuse to let you sit around and do nothing but train all day. So I'm taking the rest of the five to my parents' house for the weekend. <laughs> so you and Poe can get whatever lovey-dovey tension out of the way. So go kiss him or do whatever it is that a hardcore master does to show affection. Don't deny your feelings. So go to him while we're away. Don't throw away this opportunity. Yours with love, Viper. Tigress reread the letter once more inside. Viper was right. Of course, as long as it's just Poe who sees me like this, maybe I can still keep my reputation. Standing up with newfound conviction, she set out for the door. Throwing it to the side, she came face to face with the panda she sought. His fist raised as he was about to knock. Poe gulped and he tried to break free, but Tigress held firm. Tigress, you're scaring me. I'm not drunk enough for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Poe, I want you to listen close and listen well. She started. Uh, look, Tigress, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over. Tigress placed a digit from her paw into his mouth, silencing him. Not onto his mouth, into his mouth. Like she inserted it into his bean bun shoving mouth. Apple Poe, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. I feel the same way. Poe knew what she meant, so he blinked. <laughs> I know what you mean. Poe shifted uneasily. So, you like me? Tigress looked into the panda's emerald green eyes and her heart softened just a little. Yes, Poe. You make me feel a way I haven't in a long time. Oh, Poe. I'm not used to these feelings and I'm not sure how to properly show them. The corner of Tigress's mouth twitched. Aha, see? Come on now, give me a smile. Don't ever fucking tell a woman to smile for you. That's some annoying fucking shit. Don't fucking tell a woman to smile. It's fucking irritating. I'm sorry. When Poe wrapped his arms around her, it felt like his large, warm panda arms was melting the ice around her heart. Tigress felt the kiss become more heated, and on instinct, she rubbed her tongue across his lips, begging for access. This is weird. This is some fucked up imagery. The other stuff was weird, but this is like way too vivid. Poe shifted his weight to get a better balance, but ended up pushing him and Tigress to the ground in her room on accident. What a fucking accident. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, Tigress. I'm so sorry. Ew. Jacob, no. Say it. <laughs> I don't wanna. Do it. I miss talking about Glenn's <laughs> fucking Carl's sweet ass. Like, <laughs> Tigress, for her part, didn't hear him, for she felt something hard pressing on her leg. It was actually the Snickers bar that he left in his shorts. With an expert in a maneuver that only a master could pull off, 
She spun them around so he was on the bottom. That's not an expert maneuver, that's called rolling the fuck over. <laughs> like, this is exceptionally bad. Like, you don't understand. Like, this one is like, sitting on his thigh, she closely inspected the- This is so- okay. Sitting on his thighs. She closely inspected the bulge in the dragon warrior's pants. Poe blushed. Tigress, could you please not? I blushed. Author, could you please not? <laughs> Can I see it? Tigress asked, her gaze still locked onto the bulge. It was a few seconds before he got his breath back enough to answer, Yeah, sure, Tigress, anything you want. The worst part is that you can hear Jack Black like reading these lines. Ah! Tigress unsheathed one claw and began to drag it down the side of his pants. Soon it was nothing more than a scrap of cloth on the ground. Oh my god, no! This is so bad. Jacob, what the fuck? I, I asked you. you to find a gross fanfiction, not told one- me No, one that was gonna give me nightmares, no, what the fuck? It's not pedophilia, what you- Pandophilia! It's pandophilia! <laughs> Tiger unsheathed one claw and began to drag it down the side of his pants. Soon, it was nothing more than a scrap of cloth on the ground, and Poe's mottled black and white rod was on full display. This suggests that his dick is furry, and that has so many complications. We're not gonna talk about it. Well, I believe it's custom that since I've seen yours, you should see mine, as they say. I really don't want to read this. Tiger stood up and undid her vest clips one by one until a set of white chest binding was all that remained on her chest. Tigress unwrapped them little by little until her decently large and somehow very perky breasts were revealed. Tigress sighed in relief. Damn, I hate wearing these chest bindings, but my breasts get in the way if I don't. Oh fuck, they thought of that! They thought of her being flat chest in there. Oh no, it's because she was wearing chest bindings. That's it. She had big tits the whole time. Big tiger titties. <laughs> they should get in the way more often, Poe grinned. Poe is a fuckboy. <laughs> Poe is the one whipping his dick out. Poe is the one fucking accidentally falling on Tigress in her bedroom. What the fuck? What happened? Tigress shook her head once more and pulled down her black training pants, revealing her vaginal slit and round toned ass to the panda. Her ear twitched when she heard a drop hit the floor. Getting into a crowd, she scanned the room for attackers. What was that? Um, Tigress, it's your dot dot dot. Poe pointed to Tigress and Nethers. Tigress looked down and reached toward it with a paw. Sure enough, her lower lips were dripping with moisture. Why? She asked Poe. Poe shrugged. Oh wait, Monkey gave me this. Poe ran to his room and promptly returned with a scroll. They both opened it and read, apparently it's to help the entrance go smoother. I would love to hear Jackie Chan read that. Did you know Jackie Chan was in a porn once? Yeah, he's in like some obscure Chinese porno somewhere. Tigress, we don't have to. No, Poe, I want to. I think, I think that I love you. No, you don't. Poe shook his head. What was that? I, I love you, Poe. Tigress, I love you too. No, you don't. Poe rushed her in a hug again, but this- he bum-rushed her. He bum-rushed her in a hug. But this time, Tigress was ready. <laughs> she, Tigress was ready. She welcomed the panda with open arms. When she felt him press himself into her fur, she grinned wickedly and reached down to grasp Poe's stick. Let's move to the bed, Tigress whispered huskily in his ear. Poe nodded and Tigress led him to the bed by his cock. She laid him down on her bed and got on top of him. <laughs> Hashtag big titty tiger tit. It's a mouthful. This is written by a man. I want to establish this right now. This is written by a man, and you're gonna see why. Just debate <laughs> debatable. No, you'll see why. First of all, a woman I don't think would give a shit less if the tiger had tits. Tiger tits, that's gonna be written in by a heterosexual man. Um, she lay him down on her bed and got on top of him, her face in front of his long staff. Much like Uguay's staff. Poe had cooked many a delicious meal in the Jade Palace, but for some reason her mouth was salivating to taste his dick. This was written by a man. I don't care what the fuck you say. No woman's gonna write that fucking line. Poe grunted as she continued to run her tongue up and down along his length, her rough feline tongue. <laughs> 
Ew. Ew. It's addressed. Once most of him was thoroughly coated in tigress's saliva. What a fucking golden sentence to bring in on. It's so sexy. She gave the tip of his cock a small kiss before opening her mouth wide enough to accommodate his member. And then she bit his dick off. That doesn't happen. I wish it would. My dad just texted me. <laughs> I hate everything! <laughs> like, she came completely off his rod, making a loud pop as she did so, and dug her claws gently into his cock, making his orgasm disappear like steam in the wind. Another thing, in the many fanfictions I've read and had to read for the camera, how come they never say penis? They never say penis. It's either cock Rod or member. Those are the top three. Oh, come on now, Panda. You can't possibly want to come now. Now I want you to do what you do best. Eat. Me. Me as fuck. She slowly and sexily crawled- They accidentally said my! <laughs> I can't help but feel like they were imagining themselves as Poe in this situation. She slowly and sexily crawled up my body, only to swiftly turn herself around to me! I sit on his face! <laughs> what? She gasped as I quit. Again! He, <laughs> this guy, he keeps switching to first person! He keeps putting himself in the fucking moment where he's fucking Tigress and her big tiger titties! She gasped as I, quickly and without warning, rammed a finger into her, stretching her virgin walls a bit. Don't ram <laughs> your fingers into pussy, much less tiger pussy when they're not expecting it. Don't go sticking your fingers into people. Loving every minute of his control over the tiger master, he didn't want to lose it. Poe just might, should Tigress get pissed off, start to lick her bittersweet pussy juices. I hate my life. What is... Oh my God. Bittersweet pussy juices. Don't worry, Tigress, we have only begun. Besides, Poe said as the panda started to lay her on the bed. Okay, now it's a bed mat. Lay her on the bed mat, kneading her tits. He finished, it's my turn. No, panda, it's our turn. <laughs> That's like the end of an 80s movie. But you did it. And they're like, we did it. <laughs> yeah. And then they get the fucking trophy. This is cool runnings. This is cool runnings, actually. Her eyes locked to eyes with Poe's. Green emerald grass met hot blazing fire. Alright Poe, it's time. You don't know what to do. And in all honesty, he had no idea what to do, other than a couple of scrolls Monkey had shown him. Actually, Tigress, I don't, but I'll sure give it a hell of a try, he said. No woman <laughs> wants to hear. I'll try. <sighs> this is gross. This is really gross. After all that, you're going to postpone the fun? Tigress growled. I was eating you out. You're very tight. Almost too tight. I'm a little scared I'm going to hurt you. Love. Fuck, boy. I'm just scared my big dick's gonna hurt you. <laughs> 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 okay, fucking kill me. Tiger smile. Poe, you're sweet. I'm touched you care about me so much, but it's okay. I want this. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how much I scream, I want you to go pierce my... Inner sanctum, if you will. Tigress narrowed her eyes, making sure I got it. Back to his perspective. I did. Drink break. Let me explain something to you. If a girl is screaming or having sex, presumably in pain, you fucking stop. Okay? So the inner sanctum that Tigress is talking about is a hymen. And you don't pierce a hymen, it's not a balloon, it's not a bubble, it's a tissue. You tear a hymen, okay? You don't pierce a hymen. If a fucking hymen does not pop the first time you have sex with a girl, it doesn't mean that she's had sex beforehand. It doesn't fucking always work that way. When the preposterous fanfiction is just too much. <laughs> so, life update. I was so appalled that I dropped m the wine glass and it shattered everywhere. I'm just gonna be drinking out of the bottle. <sighs> okay, so aside from breaking all of the nice 
dishware in my house. Uh, let's get back to it. Talking about hymens and their function, especially within animated furry tigers and their animated furry tits. If a woman is screaming in pain, you need to stop. As you wish, your majesty, Poe joked. Now get ready to feel the thunder. Just that phrase nearly made Tiger's orgasm right then and there. Poe prodded her entrance a bit more. Then he rubbed his dick in between her folds, sandwiching his dick in her pussy lips. <laughs> he slowly pushed into her until he realized something. He stopped. Poe, what are you doing? Tigress, are you a virgin? Tigress's eyes widened in shock. Of course, Poe. What makes you think I wasn't? She asked. Her well, it's just that I'm about an inch in now and I didn't feel a barrier. Normally breaking the virgin barrier is a symbol of everlasting love. Have you ever read a fan fiction that just pisses you off so much you throw your fucking phone? Getting entered by a penis is a symbol of everlasting love? But only if that penis is the first one there. Give me the phone. Did it break? I don't even care. I don't give a shit. He's so great. He gets so much fucking pussy. It's okay. I was just wondering. Poe continued to go in, moving slowly in. The fuckboy asshole panda bitch. Every inch Poe introduced her, Tigress winced in pain. I bet she was faking it. Tigress soon was moaning, encouraging Poe to increase speed. Soon he had a rhythm going and Tigress was thrusting her hips to her, meet her new mate's thrust. Soon she was screaming in pure bliss as Poe vigorously pounded into the lovely tiger. I hate myself. I hate my channel. I hate everything I stand for. Hashtag spots. Oh, gods of China, Poe. That feels good. Tigress praised. Both the lovers wanted nothing more than to come together, so Tigress quickened her. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Why? This is gross. Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Virgins are virgins and they only love you if they fuck you. So that's gonna do it for preposterous fan fiction. Um, the second edition, Valentine's edition. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm hoping to get another video out before Valentine's Day actually happens. I love to gear my videos towards like a specific holiday that's coming up. Just you wait for Arbor Day, bitch. Yeah, so I'll be back probably later this week with another Valentine's Day themed video. I'm sorry if this scarred you for life because TVH, it kind of scarred me for life too with tiger titties. Sayonara. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sam. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob sucks dick! <laughs>